So this person is asking, do I fall into the same old patterns since I've been diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder and I've been in therapy for it for the last five years? And the answer is absolutely yes. The patterns that yeah, my mindset is still there. The narcissism is still there. Being a self-aware narcissist does not mean cured. It does not mean healed. It does not mean recovering to me. To me is just being aware of my behaviors and what I have done and what I do. Being a self-aware narcissistic person is kind of just being aware that like I don't own my body. Sometimes it's like there's two of me. There's a narcissistic side that's extremely powerful and extremely strong and extremely you know ambitious and outgoing and things like that. And then there's the other side of me that can be loving and caring and things like that. But the narcissistic side is just stronger. The narcissistic side is just it just takes over. And it's like to me, I developed the narcissism in my in my youth and my childhood as a defense mechanism to protect myself and it just as i grew older and older and older it just got stronger and stronger and stronger so me going to therapy is just acknowledgement of it and just understanding that sometimes i'm just i'm just not in control sometimes i disassociate and i forget what happened or i don't remember how i got into certain, into certain situations but i have to explain myself out of it so therapy for me has helped me deal with this but it hasn't cured me at all and i'll be in therapy for the rest of my life dealing with it and i'm okay with that because ther therapy has honestly helped me but it hasn't cured me if that makes sense to you Sometimes on, along this therapy journey, I, I wouldn't wish self-awareness on anybody because sometimes it's just like you're aware of all the bad behaviors, but sometimes you just can't stop them. And that doesn't give you an excuse to do them. You just can't stop them. Sometimes the narcissism, the, the super ego, whatever you want to call it, just takes over and takes control and you just act on it. You act on selfish impulses. You act on abusive behaviors and things like that. And therapy isn't the cure, y'all. Therapy doesn't, if, if I go to therapy and lie, it doesn't work. I have to go to therapy and be vulnerable and open and honest and all the other good stuff with narcissistic people typically don't do. And remember I told y'all the narcissists disassociate? Imagine going to therapy and disassociating for a few minutes. Like you wait, it's kind of like you blink and 15 minutes of therapy has went by and you're looking at the therapist and she's like, what you say? What's your answer to that? I'm like, I don't even know what you ask me because like the narcissistic part of me, the ego is takes over. Sometimes it just shuts everything down to protect itself. It's like I'm, it's like me telling myself, hey, if you're too vulnerable here, you're going to end up getting hurt in therapy. If you're too vulnerable here, it's going to affect your outside life. And you're going to you won't be successful. You won't be you know, you won't be here. People won't listen to you. People won't like you. I'm still present in the moment, but sometimes it's just like I don't exist. So, yes, the patterns are still there. It's just kind of like I'm self-aware of them. So I can sometimes I can break the pattern. I can alter my behaviors and alter my reactions sometimes to the things that I do and the things that I say. I'm not cured of narcissistic personality disorder, nor do I ever plan on being cured. I just plan on working on it for the rest of my life. Most people wouldn't be OK with that, but I am. I love therapy. Therapy has actually helped me out. Seriously.